Gamers, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Turk Banco. Thank you for turning, tuning into my channel. Um, I don't usually like to make, well, I shouldn't say like to make, I don't usually make uh, different types of videos like vlogs or um, cr critique videos or uh, commentary videos on this channel just because this channel is for silly things like reviewing dating simulators, weird anime games, um, weird mature adult games, and just letting you guys see them. If you can't play them, I kind of take the bullet for you and I play them. And then I found out that a lot of these games have amazing artists and um, just wonderful scripts and they're just funny. And you can easily blow off any of these games as a money grab, something to titillate. And some of them are. Some of them are just lazily created to just grab a couple of quick bucks on Patreon or wherever it is. And they usually fizzle out. They're not that good. But then there are thousands of them that are really well done that if these developers were to create any other game they'd be very decent games but because of the the genre and the mature label and adult label on these games they're kind of shunned from really posting them anywhere uh the way they're meant to be seen so they have to be heavily censored and edited and that's what my channel is but both both of my channels that i have um, this one's the one that's majorly utilized. I've had multiple channels before this and had some issues with people fake striking me and stuff like that. But um, the second channel I have was more of a, a, a vlog, critiquing, editing, reviewing cinema, movies, YouTube videos, whatever it was. But I never really used it. So I just want to let you know, this video is going to be very serious, okay? I, I, I just, I, you can't tell how much my blood is boiling because every time I think of this... It just, I can feel it from my stomach and it goes into my extremities of just anger. But I feel like I want to put it on this channel just because there's the most people that follow me here on this one. And then um, let you know that I'm going to focus a lot of this energy and this type of commentary and critique. And it's not always going to be serious like this. It's, it's going to be funny too. On my second channel. My second channel is TVG Games Co. 2. This is TVG, TVG Games Co. And the other one will be TVG Games Co. 2. I guess I should have made it TVG Games Co. 1 since it's zero, but whatever. Um, I'll put the link down below to where these type of videos uh, and more funny commentary videos will be on that channel, but I just wanted to put it on this channel first. So, the topic of today, and uh, I'm not going to take any credit for any of this. The only credit I am going to take for is who I'm specifically going to be talking about, but the animal abuse community on YouTube is prevalent. I think all of us may have seen it, uh, whether we know what it is or whether we were duped into thinking of what it is. Um, and there's been amazing people who have talked about it. Moist Critical or Penguin Zero, as most people know him, has an amazing video on it, talking about animal abuse community, specific channels who were abusing animals for views, and then channels that fake rescue animals, right? Then you have Nick Crowley. Nick Crowley has amazing videos. If you watch any of um, if you watch any of um, Nick Crowley's videos, I, I suggest you watch them. And again, it's trigger warning if you're a super huge animal lover, and none of this will sit right with you as far as like anxiety and stuff like that. Maybe you shouldn't watch it. Maybe you can read up on it on some articles on on Google. But if you have time to watch um, any videos, Nick Crowley, um, I've never watched Dog. Dega Tag Ali, I don't know who that is, but I'm sure they're talking about the same thing. And then obviously Moist Critical is talking about it too. But what I want to uh, focus on specifically, and I even had to make notes of this. Um, let, me, let me just point out one creator. And I have to say ahead of time, this is alleged. I don't know for a fact. All I can do is look at the evidence, okay? Now. What I'm talking about is there are thousands, I mean thousands of creators and millions, I, I can only imagine millions of videos of animal rescues. Everybody loves a good animal rescue. Seeing an animal stuck in a hole and a bunch of community get together and dig out the hole and grab the dog and, and everybody's rejoicing and it's a beautiful thing. I mean, nobody can deny the positivity of that. and the the need for that you know animals are vulnerable we need to 
save them. And if you go to any other country outside of the U.S., obviously the U.S. has strays. Um, strays are just more prevalent. My mother's in Turkey right now. She's on vacation. And she's practically sends me a video every week of her walking around in beautiful areas. And you see dogs laying on the grass, you know, sleeping on the street. Mind you, they're not being abused from what I can see in the video. Um, I'm sure there's a, an asshole that probably runs up and kicks them once in a while, throws rocks at them. I'm sure that happens. But in the videos that she sends me, they're mostly just lying around and they don't have a place to go. They just kind of sleep outside or they'll sleep by like a like a doner shop where they'll get some scraps from some people. And there's some very nice people in Turkey. And now it's being more adopted in Turkey specifically. You're going to you see dog grooming stores, which you never really saw when I was a kid going to visit Turkey and have, you know, vacations there. You didn't see people with dogs on a leash. You didn't see dog grooming stores. You didn't see um, like dog shops where you can um, adopt stray animals that have been vaccinated and all that stuff. But it's happening. It's prevalent now. You actually can see people walking their dogs on the street on a leash in Turkey, a Muslim country. And, um, and that's a great thing. But in other countries, there's just tons of strays, man. There's just, uh, it's just, a, a, you know, I guess people maybe care a little bit less there and it's changing little by little. But, you know, if you go to, if you see any Asian countries or you've been to any Asian countries, it's bad. I mean, cats and dogs are just everywhere. And um, the new trend, and I say new because YouTube's fairly new. I mean, I know it's been around since, what, 2007, 2006. But obviously trends come up when there's monetization and ad revenue. And the fairly recent new trend is rescuing animals and showing your good deeds. And there's a lot of amazing channels that do these things, ask for donations, show follow-up videos of how the animals are doing, have adoption information. And if in case you're interested and you're in this area, email us and we'll set up the, the, the adoption. And they even have videos showing the adoption of these animals and these videos occur months after the initial video of when the dog was rescued so if they find a dog in an unfortunate situation maybe it's tied up in, a, in an abandoned home and the owner passed away and someone comes upon it um it's a great great story it's a beautiful thing i don't know what came first i don't know if the legit animal rescue videos then spawned all these evil evil people that fake these animal rescue videos and reuse these poor animals over and over and put them in awful situations because they saw the success of the real ones or did the fake ones occur and then real ones came after just by coincidence i don't know i don't know what came first all i know is there's a specific one i want to focus on and it's a big one and if and it's when i say big it's 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 fairly big in the scope of how long it's been up how many views it has, and that it's even verified. So I'm going to focus on one. And again, I want to say, I'm alleged, uh, you know, this is alleged, but I want you to decide based on what I'm going to show you here. Chibi Vlog, okay? Let's go see what Chibi Vlog is about. Chibi Vlog, primarily, from what I can tell, obviously had some old videos back in the day uh, of doing like DIY videos. Suddenly, switch to saving animals specifically not just saving any animals puppies okay somehow this person miraculously finds the cutest sweetest tiniest puppies all by themselves so somewhere in random areas and we'll get to that seemingly random and they're never older dogs they're rarely ever another animal it's always puppies and that alone is fishy um the way she shoots her videos there's always a cameraman and then it's always the same routine she finds the animal the animal's covered in maybe sometimes blood or dirt she picks up the animal she inspects it and then you know and then well first they do their little walk around with the camera to get a 360 of the poor animal put the piano music behind it pick up the animal, inspect it, and then takes her to a, an area, puts a towel down, puts the puppy down on the towel, gives it water. And sometimes these dogs are passed out. They're not even moving. And somehow she knows that each dog needs water and they all come back to life. 
miraculously. And then she takes him to this vet. I want to say vet because I think it's a home. And the reason I think it's a home because every video, she walks into this place. It has a, a shelf with dog food. And it's the same thing. It's the same bathtub. They give him all a bath. The dogs look surprisingly clean and haircuts and everything before she even picks these dogs up. And then the video ends with the dog walking around, sniffing things, and then the video ends. There's no follow-up video. There's no, hey, look at, uh, look at little Kiki that we picked up six months later. Look how big they are. You will not see any of these dogs grown up. So I don't know what happens to them. And the reason I don't even want to show you right now, and I'm going to show you some clips. I don't even want to give a view to any of these other videos. They're all the same. You can come check them out if you want to. I just don't want to give any monetization. I don't, I don't want to give this lady a goddamn penny more than I have to, but I am going to show you a couple of clips here. Now, this could be legit. She might not ever want to show what happens to these dogs because maybe she has a best friend who has a dog sanctuary and she just gives it to them. And that doesn't matter to her. What matters to her is saving these sweet little puppies. Surprisingly, it's always one puppy. And, uh, they're always in some random place that she just randomly finds. But anyway, maybe that's the case. But if you look at every video, every video has the same style. There's one sentence for the description. Watch me adopt this cute puppy. Watch this cute puppy in an awful hole get adopted by me. There's 390 of these videos on this specific channel that she adopts. I guess she, she adopted 400 dogs, never puts any adoption information, never has any Instagram account or Facebook account tied to it. All she has is a, a, a PayPal button under these videos. Now, this is going to make me mad. Okay. So now while we're doing this, I just want to open these other two channels. Okay. And, and you see, you see how I, I kindly label these channels here. And again, if this triggers you, I apologize. I'm not trying to trigger anybody. I just want you to see what's happening here. Okay, this is the Chibi vlog, so then it's got to be this one. Okay. Okay, I right, look. And then and you can see that there's like fake things added here that obviously isn't real. I don't even know if that's photoshopped or if that's ketchup. Um, now, what do you see in common in these two videos? Right? I mean, it's obvious. It's the location. It's the same rocks. It's the same train track. It's the same style. Some sort of weird Photoshop magma lava put on this rock. Some weird Photoshop ketchup put on this one. But it's the same place. The other thing you'll notice is two different channels. Trank Gum Law Vlog with 58,000 subscribers. Onjamo Divines, whatever that is, with 1,000 subscribers. This is brand new. This is brand new because you can tell because it's got a low view count, low like count. Otherwise, this channel, believe me, in six months, if YouTube doesn't do anything, it's going to have millions of views, okay? So what's happening here? Is, are these three channels related? Because they're just small puppies and they're all by these train tracks. And, and I started digging, okay? So let's just watch a few seconds of the latest Chibi Vlogs video. Okay, look. Okay, this is the setting because I don't even want to fucking watch this. Um, it's always like the setting, right? And then you... She randomly comes to this area with no, no knowledge. These puppies don't really run away from her either. And some might argue because the puppies aren't scared of her. Or I would argue that they're fucking terrified and she just put them there. And she has a handler. Right? There's a, there's a cameraman here. Just keep that in mind. Or camera woman. I don't know. Um, and I'm assuming that Chibi is a female just based on the picture. I don't know. So here's Chibi. Okay? Now, keep in, keep in mind every detail here. The way the person sits or or squats and the the way the the angle that they're on right they're always on the right side here and the arms and the hands and the feet and the mask okay there's always a mask 
she always takes out these like yo yogurt, yogurt style snacks for these dogs. Look at the dog's face. He's terrified, okay? Then she proceeds to feed them. Now, she brings them to this sidewalk, puts the towel down. Notice the water bottle, the, this big cylinder water bottle, okay? She's always squatting. Look at the arms, look at the hands, look at the nails, look at the dog. The dog is just petrified, doesn't want to be there, okay? They take it to this weird vet place. When, you, when she gets into this vet place, you see the shelves on the wall, okay? With all the dog food, great. That's awesome, really? Wow, she has like a friend that's a vet. Now, from what I can tell, this is a third person. Not So there's a cameraman, there's Chibi, and then there's this third person, who I think, in my opinion... Just legally, I have to say that, in my opinion, are all complicit in setting this fake-ass video up, okay? Then, she puts the dog in this bathtub, which you're going to see hundreds of times if you watch these videos, okay? Then she sits and plays with the dog. How sweet. This whole time, there's this, like, weird, sad piano music. She feeds them again. She cleans them and shows how much she loves them. And guess what? The video just ends. No, hey, if you want to adopt this video, or if you want to adopt this dog, or hey, if you want to contact us and support us, here's our Instagram, here's our website, we are uh, located here. Strangely enough, these are Vietnamese, and I read a couple of articles that Vietnam, a lot of these channels come from Vietnam, so this is a business thing, okay? Look at the, look at the four videos that it ends with. Now, there's a lot of arguments you'll see in the comments. 99% of the comments are positive. Thank you. You're such an angel. I, 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 you know, you thank the, thank the gods that you exist for helping these poor animals. I, you know, and who, who knows how much people are, sorry, I just flicked my headphones. Who knows how many people are donating to the PayPal, right? So this is like what you, what you're given. So you go down this rabbit hole of this person's amazing. And then you start thinking, well, what happens to the dog? You don't give them a name, a name or anything. You don't, you don't show any follow-up videos. Like, what's up? So this is the main channel. This is the one that's verified. Okay. You can, you can, you can, you can give thanks. You can give money straight to this channel. This is a verified YouTube channel with monetization. Every single ad that goes through this channel gives a fraction of a penny or whatever. However, depending on the ad to this creator. And there's millions of views. This is three days ago, 64,000 views. And you can see my first two comments are not too happy. Um, this next video, this is from an entirely different channel with 60,000 subscribers. Okay, let's look at it. Train track. You hear trains in the background. This person's not it. You don't see the video start, oh my God. And then... Somehow, two of them are there for some reason. And then one person runs up, picks the dog up real slow, puts the dog in the car, goes straight to the vet. You don't see that. You see this weird, like, cinematography of just looking at this poor dog. This dog's barely breathing. Okay, let, let's first establish the shot. Okay, and then somehow they just walk up to this train station. She's, now she's doing all these weird vital signs. Somehow, assuming this dog is even alive. And guess where? Guess where we are? Look where we are again. This person looks so familiar. Damn, that sidewalk looks familiar. Where, where, where did we see that before? Oh! Hey! That's weird. Anyway. Same water bottle. The same thing. Somehow she knows that all these dogs are extremely dehydrated. Now, common sense, obviously, if you're laying out, not moving, chances are you need water, right? But there could be something else wrong with it. There could be a disease. The dog could be dead. The dog could be injured, paralyzed, whatever. You know, not, sometimes water isn't the best thing to give it right at that moment. Sometimes taking it straight to a vet is the first thing you need to do, okay? Yeah, you might put some water in its mouth, that's fine, but you should be in the car on the way to the vet. You shouldn't put the shit in the sidewalk in public here and, and perform your little uh, 
veterana- does she have a vet license? Like, can can we know anything? Is there any commentary? No, there's none. Somehow, this video is probably multiplied across many channels, or it's a business. These people, wherever they are, and I'm assuming Vietnam because look at the language, um, just have a, a monopoly on this. Okay, multiple creators have thousands of channels across that's uploaded from Vietnam doing this and probably reusing the same dogs. Cause again, you never see these dogs older. You never see a follow-up video. You don't know what the, I don't know what the fuck happens to these dogs. For all I know, she throws them back on the street or she puts them in a kennel to reuse them for another video or sells them to somebody else to, to reuse them. And maybe if they get too old, they're dead because there's the, nobody wants to see an old dog. Apparently she thinks no one wants to see an old dog saved, which old dog, young dog doesn't matter. Any dog saved is, is, the be- is, is beautiful. But I guess they're not good for her because they're not puppies. Okay, that's this channel. So let me just pr- give you a little bit more proof. Look, this dog's almost dead. Here's my assumption. I think, again, allegedly, my opinion, this specific person allegedly dehydrates the fuck out of these dogs to a point where either they put some sort of medication into them or dehydrates them, puts them at the location, turns on the camera as they're walking back up and then knows exactly what to do. Knows the dog needs water because it's dehydrated. This dog it took a while to come back up. This one really hit me because this dog was out for a while. Then it starts to wake up. It starts to breathe again. It's thirsty as shit. It's hungry as shit. And guess what? Look where she takes them. This random other channel that has apparently nothing to do with Chibi Vlog. Look at this place. Huh. That's weird. Where, where, what does this place look like? Whoa. That's very identical. And then guess what? The guy or whoever it is, I assume it's a guy. The vet that she that these people are friends with. And look, there's three people in this video. There's the, there's the photographer, there's the vet, and then there's, I want to say Chibi, to be honest with you. If that's even their name. I don't know why it's loading. And then look at the bathtub. Huh. That's weird. Well, maybe they sell that bathtub, TVG. Maybe that bathtub is, is something that's always been sold. Maybe that bathtub is everywhere. Everyone uses that bathtub, maybe. Then this poor dog is then put into this area, which, again, weird. Look at the background with the little uh, mustard colored squares. Huh. That's weird, YouTube. Wow. I wonder if this channel is going for monetization. And then let's look at the third video. This is Onjama Devenst. Now, what are the chances of this channel stealing the content from other channels and putting it on their own? I'll tell you what the chances are. Zero. Because it's the same shit. One sentence one song and i don't know if they're um able to be monetized yet because they're brand new so i don't think they will, will include the paypal yet this this channel has it um this one doesn't so what i think they're doing is they're making multiple channels knowing that eventually they're going to be taken down and they're always going to have a channel up right so it's like it's like a domino or it's like a it's like, I don't know, I guess you would call it a domino. You knock one down, the other ones are still up for a minute, and then they get knocked down, and the other ones stay up for a minute, and then they get knocked down. I think that's what that is. Um, I don't know if that was a good analogy. Look at this, four days ago to another fucking dog. He found him in a, in a looks like a cardboard box. If you put any cardboard boxes outside, especially in Vietnam where it rains all the time, the box ain't going to be cardboard anymore. But somehow it's a beautiful cardboard box. I'm looking at the video at the top right here. Well, just to prove it to you, same train track, same story. I wonder how many times they do this in a day. There's the towel. She won't even change the towel. God, I hate you. I hate you, woman. I hate you. And I just wish, look, they even show the train go by as if it's like, oh my God, look, we see we came just in time. Look, the same vet, the same shelves, the same bathtub. The same walls. The same piece of shit on the right. 
This evil, evil piece of shit. Why do you need three channels with the same content? Why don't you have any adoption information? Why don't you have any follow-up video? Why don't you have any social media? Showing all these great things that you're doing. You know how hard it is to take care of two dogs? Look, these are my two dogs here. I should have addressed this in the beginning of the video. The black one is Ty, the brown one is Toby. Who's it? Whoever, whoever has followed my channel for a long time, you know Toby all the way at the end there. Ty is a new addition, about three years old. You guys know my dogs. They're not here because they're with my ex. My ex takes them on the weekends, okay? Drama, so whatever. But we both love our animals and we both take care of our dogs better than we take care of ourselves, okay? Um, so Toby and Ty are here in spirit every time. I love dogs. Um, you don't have any information on anything? You know how hard it is for me to take care of these two dogs Monday through Friday while I'm working? I got to make sure they're groomed, trained, mentally stimulated, um, fed, walked multiple times a day, and that they're both getting equal amount of attention. And then I got to worry about myself, gym, work, life, editing, streaming. Dude, my life is, is, is managed to the 15 minute. Every fi I have to manage and plan my entire day before I go to sleep at night that previous evening. That's just the way my life is. But this lady has time to go outside, bring the cameraman, um, and just doing this out of her own goodness, right? We're not really asking for anything. Eh, just a PayPal if you want to donate. And if you go to the PayPal, I don't even want to show it. If you go to the PayPal, it's just a, a, an icon, one sentence in Vietnamese, and that's it. There's no, like, about us, contact us. It's just, it's the most poorly put together thing. And what makes me the most angry, aside from the abuse of these poor puppies, because, you know, people are going to say, well, she's saving them. No, she's not. No, she's not. If she was really saving them, she would be asking for help or people to come and help. But that ain't happening. This is all for profit, for views and ad revenue, okay? Um, I just, I just get angry. Um, but what makes me most mad is that it's so poorly put together. It's so easily, easily detectable on what is occurring here. This took me five minutes. I went to Chibi and I was just like skeptical. I watched a couple of videos like, what the fuck? You're not even asking for help at the end of the video. There's no Instagram. Like what? Who has an animal rescue page and doesn't have a Facebook, a social media, Instagram, all that shit. Anybody who's doing animal rescue knows that it's expensive. You need one dog could cost you $10,000 just saving one dog. You need all the help you can get. But YouTube doesn't, doesn't do anything. I've asked people to report certain channels. I'm not going to say which ones. And, I've, and, and on stream. And my, my, my followers or viewers, they do it. But somehow these channels are always up. And you know what's going to be funny? It's like whack-a-mole. You hit one channel. If it goes down. You better believe they're going to upload these same videos again to another creator. They have thousands of them. It's a business. Um, it's just a matter of time. You know, on YouTube, you have to get a certain number of uh, hours watched and a certain number of subscribers, I think, to get monetization. When, when any animal rescue videos... Listen, if you're doing anything organic, if you're doing your own podcast, if you're doing... It's going to take you a long time to get subscribers and get views. It's just... It is. Unless you're... You go viral on one crazy video, whatever. Um, or unless you're like a hot chick, you know, who knows. Um, but if you're a regular person, it's going to take you a while. I think these videos amass such a quick amount of all of the, the things, the rubric that hits the threshold to get monetization, that it, it's, it doesn't hurt them to lose a video or lose a, a channel because they have 550 others all ready to go. With the same person. So. Just wanted to bring you that to your attention. Um, if you want to see. I'll put all three of these videos. Into the link in the description. Again. I don't know for a fact. All I can do is just tell you what I see. The same background on all three channels. The same mantra. The same MO. The same person. 
and you don't see any follow-up on these animals there's no information to look at the website and see how this little guy's doing or this little girl's doing or this little girl's doing you don't know they don't want you to know why is that anyway this is going to go up on my main channel i know it's different than most of the things i've seen the reason it is is because look you guys support me when i play my silly adult games and we have fun i don't like getting serious or political on any of my videos there's too much out there for negativity so i always want to do something silly and that's focus on something i love doing focusing on silly mature adult games dating simulators because it's a fascinating world to me that there's just so many of them so many great creators and it's like a, it's like a niche little corner of the internet um and obviously they can't put their games on youtube so i'm gonna be the filter for that i get the videos i edit them i censor them and i put them on youtube because i want these creators to get some love it's not about money for me if i was smart and i wanted to make money i would obviously post like me playing armored core 6 on youtube but i'm stupid and i don't care about money when i really should so if you want to support me I'm going to put this video up on my main channel. Then I'm also going to include a link to my second channel where I'm going to start doing uh, reacts to like police videos and I'm going to give credit to the original sources, obviously. I don't want it to just be some lazy reacts. Um, critiques, reviews, all that stuff. So go to TVG Games Co. 2 for this video and support it if you can. And uh, keep an eye out, subscribe to that channel and, and keep an eye out because maybe that channel I can get monetization from. And... Um, Obviously, this channel is going to be mainly for adult game reviews, but I just wanted to bring this to light because I get the most eyes here. Okay, um, hope that I hope that makes sense. So I'll put the link to these three channels in the description, but at the top of the description, you're going to see my second channel where you can see this video and then other future videos where I'm going to be posting very very soon, probably this week, of um, of things that I, I want to react to that are just hilarious. Um, so this is a more serious video. This is a very important thing to me i volunteer at animal shelters um, almost every weekend early in the morning I, I sweep up shit i uh i walk dogs i do whatever the shelter needs me to do and i volunteer i don't make a dollar from it and i trust me i'm living paycheck to paycheck my glasses are put together with tape okay your boy is suffering here struggling but I like to do things that make me happy inside that don't always have to revolve around money. Obviously, I need money and I would really appreciate it if you want to donate to patreon.com slash tvgg uh, because I am a real person and I'm not abusing animals and I love my animals. So I just want to bring this up to you. I probably should have done a script. I probably should have, you know, I probably should have thought of this a little bit more, but I don't know. I hope you get something out of this. Let me know what you think. Are these channels legit? Let me know. I love you. TVG out. Bye, gamers.